then um, the next group I would like to talk about, I'll come back to the other group later, the Nidarians, right? So the Nidarians are the jellyfish, the sea anemones, corals, and hydrozoans. So um, they have a body plan like this. Okay, see there, they are um, diploblastic, not triploblastic, diploblastic. Remember, triploblastic animals have the three tissue layers, uh, ectoderm, endoderm, and mesoderm, uh, blue, yellow, and red. Now this guy, these guys, they just have two tissue layers colored yellow, uh, typically in textbooks, colored yellow and blue. So <clears throat> they, um, they have the endoderm and the ectoderm. So the endoderm, remember that's the digestive cavity, and the ectoderm, remember that is um, the uh, nerves and the skin. So not surprisingly, jellyfish lack muscle and bone that you would normally find in the mesoderm. <coughs> Um, now, this is two different styles of, of, of the Darien, where one is got tentacles pointing up and the other has tentacles pointing down. If you think about it, it's the same body plan. One is just either is the, uh, are the tentacles up or are they down? Now, uh, when they point up, we say that the... Uh, when, we, when they point up, we say that they look like uh, the hydra, right? So the hydra was an animal that uh, Hercules fought, uh, as also in the Avengers movie. Now, the, the hydra, if you cut off one of his heads, uh, the other heads, um, it grows more heads, like the hydra organization in the Avengers movie. If you kill some of the bad guys, they just keep coming. They get more bad guys, right? So that, that Hydra animal looks like the tentacles up animal, right? And then if the tentacles point down, it's referred to as a Medusa. Now, Medusa, right, is a witch uh, with hair made out of snakes so that the jellyfish is thought to resemble the Medusa. Cut that out. <laughs> the um, the Nadarians, right? The Nadarians down here. Let's think about the Nadarians. Is um, they only have one opening to their gastrointestinal tract. They have the one mouth slash anus. So what? It, so it's a one. It's a dead end street. So whatever goes in that opening has to go out the same opening. Now, it's not really that gross because it's not, they don't, there'll be bone, you know, shells and stuff that they'll spit out. It's not really as gross as it sounds. But they, they call this a compl incomplete digestive tract because there's the, the only, they don't have a mouth and an anus. If you have a mouth and an anus, that is a complete digestive tract. Since they only have one open opening, we call it incomplete. There's other animals that have no mouth or anus, and that's also interesting. Um, now, the Nadarians, let me show you, that's not it. There's, there's a life cycle. Now, uh, so, now, no matter what they're doing, they always go through this, um, uh, they, they go back and forth between being Medusa or a polyp, but some focus on being a polyp, uh, the hydra, right? A polyp, it means any little growing thing. So you might have it in colon cancer, or in this case, we use it for the, the hydra stage, right? So jellyfish live some of their life as a polyp or hydra. Uh, other, other animals that live as a polyp, they spend some top part of their life as medusa. So I'm, let's get, let's get uh, some nice pictures of the, some nice pictures of the, okay, that's a sea anemone. Right, so that's a that's a polyp or hydra form that looks like a flower, right? Because it's sessile. Because it's sessile, that means it doesn't move, and things that don't animals that don't move tend to look like plants. 
This is a C pen, which looks like a feather pen. What you have there is a bunch of polyps at a central cav in a central cavity. There's a jellyfish, of course. This is a hydrozoan, which is a colony of polyps uh, and coral. Now these pictures of coral are not great. The coral, <coughs> they're, they're colonies, right? So what they are actually is um, a bunch of hydras living alongside each other, a bunch of bunch of polyps living alongside each other. For some reason, your book really the whole colony and not the and not the individual animals in the colony. Uh, this is a hydrozoan. Now. This guy is a very interesting character. Portuguese man of war. So uh, a man of war uh, is an old fashioned word for a warship, a sailboat that, that was used in war. And these guys float around catching the wind. And so it's called a, it resembles a sailboat. It's actually a colony. It's not a jellyfish. It's a colony of polyps that one of them blows up like a big gas bag and they all hang on to it so that's an interesting little side bit now the reason they're called the darians is because they have this nidiocyte and what happens is the nidiocyte is withdrawn into the animal and then it shoots out this shoots out this shoots out this uh uh barb stylet which injects uh, a toxin that paralyzes the animal so this is a they are ambush predators wait and uh, sit and wait predators and w when they inject the toxin it can cause a lot of pain in a human some of these jelly some jellyfish will actually kill you uh, especially in the South Pacific you get them at the Jersey Shore. They, uh, it's like a bee sting. So the Darians, that's the notes on that. I'll give you the notes in another slide. Uh, so there's the polyp or the medusa. Jellyfish, oh, you, can, you can look that stuff up yourself. Um, one interesting thing is the, the, the ones that look like flowers, they're called anthozoans. And anth is a word, we'll, a root we'll see a lot that refers to male flowers. In fact, the anemone is a flower. The sea anemone is the animal that looks like the anemone.